Hello and welcome back to the Road to Champions League Glory with Bishop Thorford. This is episode 48. So last time you were with us, we drew 1-1 one -one with, with Chelsea and we got through to the Champions League knockout rounds and we found out our opposition would be PSG. Today we are going to be playing PSG, but the form in between our last and today hasn't been great. There have been some really bad results and also some really good results. As you can see, four red markers, which means we ha we have lost four times. We've had a few draws in there as well. The league isn't looking great for us at the moment. We are on 52 points after 28 games, with a nine-point gap to fourth, and Chelsea quite a fair way above that. We aren't doing brilliantly. We're not in contention for the title this season. I'd say we might have a slim, slim chance of gaining that fourth place, as long as we win all our remaining and Arsenal don't. Our goal difference is looking quite healthy, so I'm pretty pleased with that. But we are on our own in that little fifth place. We are. I don't really see Southampton coming too close to us. We do need to win a few more games just to make sure that they don't. I do think that we are on a little life of our own, shall we say, in fifth place. But our concentration today is going to be in the Champions League, where we are playing PSG. We have also got a fifth round match against Huddersfield coming up very, very shortly. But to, for today's game, we have Santiago in goal. Michael Jeffries, Jungho and Rodriguez at the back. Diaz and Para, who has just got back to full fitness, just in time for this game. Callum Slattery, Eric Simo and Jose in centre mid. Dam and Thierry up front. On the bench, Kingsley, Lee Lindsay, Odegaard, Sim, Peter, Mendes and David Cole. A few unregistered and a few players that aren't just in the squad at the moment. Ben Woodburn is injured for the next five weeks. Not ideal, but he isn't the first teamer. He's a rotation. So we kind of look at that in kind of not, it's not too bad. It could have been a lot worse. So let's get into today's game and see what happens. So PSG are favourites. They have Roberto Martinez and Mancini in, in charge. They're a team that I am very wary of. I know they've got some very good players, as I shown last time. But let's hope we can make a difference and just put up a good performance and I'll be happy. Alright, let's slow it, slow it down for you guys. Always forget this. I play it quite quick when I'm not online. <coughs> so Kevin De Bruyne, Icardi. We've got a free kick. They were one nil up. We are one nil up. Rodriguez, the centre back, has headed one in. Dams put the free kick in. Jeffries has got his head on it. Rodriguez has then come back on the other on the far on the switch over with the post, and he's been able to put it past the goalkeeper. One nil, Bishop Stortford against PSG in the first knockout round of the Champions League. One minute in, fantastic start for us. Really, really pleased there. Unexpected, but really pleased. Currently, at the moment, we've got a lot of possession. Not really letting them have much of the ball, nor am I letting them have shots, which is obviously very, very beneficial towards us. I say that as we counter. Dam's got the ball onto Thierry. Thierry's going to take it past them. Makes the keeper pull off a decent note. He hit the post. Couldn't tell if that was a post or the keeper. But he had a little, nice little run. Dam had a nice little pass. Looking promising. Getting onto the half hour mark. And we're doing we're doing pretty well so far. Not many highlights, which isn't I guess when we're leading, not too bad. So the Le league has been a bit of a struggle at the moment. We haven't been playing very well. We are on a nice little run of form at the moment, which is not too bad. We have had a few wins very very recently Diaz has got the ball he's going to cross it in Slattery onto Thierry and he's hit the post again he's hit the post again a good solid chance that was Dam's got the corner crossed it in Diaz is on the edge of the box he's going to pass to Rodriguez Rodriguez back to Jose Jose 
Thierry's ooh, Thierry was nearly in for a second there. It's going to go to half time, and we are still leading 1 0. So, passionately, we weren't that bad, but I think we can do better. We believe in the players. So, we've got kick off left to right in the second half. The highlight is it going to be a highlight goal from the start? No, it's not going to be a goal from the start. Slattery's got it. On to Para, on to Jose, on to Thierry, on to Thier and Thierry puts the ball into the back of the net. We're 2 0 up. We're 2 0 up. I, to be honest, I'm not really sure I'm seeing the same thing. We're 2 0 up against PSG. And we are dominating this game. Let's hope this carries on. Can can we pull off an unexpected win? Rodriguez has picked it up. Going to go back to all the way back to Santiago. Santiago going to pass to Rodriguez. Back to Simo. Simo to Jose. To Diaz. To Dam. To Thierry. Back to Diaz. To Jose. To Slattery. To Thierry. Shoot. Keeper makes a save. The squad's looking alright fitness wise. They're playing well. Got a lot more possession. They can uh, making PSG run. Right, Jose's picked up a thigh strain, so we will take off Jose. So Jose's gonna come off and I'm gonna put on Mendez. So Mendez will go into the centre mid position. Onto the ball winning. So he comes on in centre mid after 70 minutes. We've got a corner here. Simo's picked it up on the edge. He's going to cross it in. But the keeper's got his fingers on it. His keeper's going to start an attack for PSG. But straight into Paris' feet. Diaz to Simo. To Slattery. To Dam. To Mendez. To Diaz. To Dam. To Simo. Simo to Thierry. On to Slattery. On to Para. No. No. Simo's been as bang one in from the edge of the box. 3-0. Bishop Stortford. Great goal. Slattery passed it to Para. Para couldn't get there. But Simo could off the off the kickback. And he's banged it in from the edge of the box. 3-0. The captain grabs a goal. 3-0 to Bishop Stortford against PSG in the first knockout round of the Champions League. As long as we keep a clean sheet now, we go into the second leg very, very optimistically to pull off a two-leg result. Because realistically, you look at the stats. We've had 19 shots there for. 19 shots there for. I know we're at home, but come on. They're PSG. They won the, they won the French League for the last 10 seasons, more or less. And as I said, that Akadi has put the ball in the back of the net. But he only makes that 3-1. But it is an away goal. This is 11th of the season. It's an away goal. So not brilliant. But let's think. We're still 3-1 up. So let's get to the full-time whistle. With a win against PSG. Full-time whistle is going to go very, very shortly. There we go. 3-1 Bishop Stortford in the first leg of the Champions League. So guys, you'll join us for the second leg very shortly. See you very soon. Keep those fingers crossed. So here we are, second leg against PSG coming up. Since you were last with us, we have had a few good results. We came across Huddersfield in the FA Cup and beaten 3-0. Stoke in the, in the Premier League and Arsenal in the Premier League. And we came away with the draw and a win. A nice tasty win against Arsenal, which is good because it pushes up, it pushes up, pushes us up in the league. We are now on 56, now on 62, so we're getting closer. But we have had a few injuries, which isn't great. We've had Mendez is injured for another three weeks. We got Jose's out for another four weeks, and unfortunately, Dam has been injured and he's out for three weeks. And for this game, 
Francesco Diaz is suspended. So for the team going into the second leg, it's going to be Santiago in goal. Michael Jeffries, partnered by jo Jorge Rodriguez at the back. Jung Ho, McCourt on the left, Parra on the right, Slattery, Simo and Sanchez. Valentin Sanchez, the centre-back, converted to a ball-winning midfielder in the centre-mid position that normally Jose would be in. Odegaard up front with Thierry. Bench is looking a little bit different. We've got Kingsley, Lindsay, David Davidson, Sim, Peter, Varela and Cole. Let's go into the game and see what we can do. We're winning 3-1, remember. Hopefully we can pull off a win on aggregate. That's all I, mind. That's all I care about, a win on aggregate. We're going into, into it in decent form. Submit the team. Let's go into it and see if we can pull off an um, unexpected victory, really. They've got to overturn a two-goal deficit. If we get an away goal, perfect. Fingers crossed we can do this. I do believe we can. We're going to be playing in the yellow. They're obviously going to be in their black, in their blue, dark blue. I think they've got their strongest team out for this. So we've got faith in them. And let's just go. We're playing on the counter. I'm just hoping we can pull it off. We played very well in that first leg. We dominated them in that first leg. Really pleased in between the games have been able to put... Slattery's pulled, grabbed the goal straight away. Away goal straight away. Wasn't expecting it. Was going to talk about how we did in the Premier League game against Arsenal. But Simo slots it into Slattery. Slattery takes on the defence and just smashes it near post. Goal. 1-0 Bishop Stortford. 4-1 on aggregate. And an away goal. Clear cut chance. Slattery puts it away. Callum Slattery, I think, is probably one of the most unexpected players I ever thought I'd pick up. Just brought him in because he was English a few seasons ago. And he's proven me to be a perfect signing. What a player that boy is. 16 years old at the right at the beginning of the game. I would recommend you picking him up and starting him straight off. Just just play games. They've got a corner. Well defended straight off. Ball's going to come back. They're playing on it just in the middle of the park. Goes out wide. Tackled by Valentin Sanchez. Hopefully the ref isn't going to send him off. Yellow card at the most. Come on. No booking. No booking. It's fine. Free kick's going to come in. They've been able to grab a goal. Okay, so 1-1 one, one on the night. 4-2 on aggregate. They're dominating now if you look at the stats. They've had 7 shots to our 1. We have scored that one, but still, seven shots. We are playing on the counter, as we always do with this tactic. Not really much happening. If it goes into half time like this, I'll be very happy. Couldn't have asked for a better start to the game. We are keeping the ball, which is even better. So I have a little chat with them, give them a bit of a motivational boost into the second half. I feel we can do this. They haven't come at us smashing goals in. They've got one. That's not ideal, but we've also got one as well, and it's an away goal. So it's still 4-2 on aggregate, which is great. Thierry's not having the best game. Martin Odegaard's not having the best game. McCourt, not brilliant. Corners come in, and they've scored 2-1. It's going to be a battle. It's going to be a hard game. So they've gone 2-1 up. We've got that away goal, though. Hopefully... We've got, to, we've got to stick it out for another 40 minutes. Don't know if we can do that, but we can keep our fingers crossed. Thierry, I think I'm going to bring off a, for Sim in a minute, Sim very shortly. Oh, no! Cross has come in. The defender's missed it. The keeper's missed it. 3-1 on the night. 4-4 on aggregate. They've got the momentum. We are on the back step. We're massively losing out up front. Thierry's having a shock. A Sim's going to come on. It's not looking good. McCourt's looking very tired. I haven't really got... There's Peter on the bench. Yeah, so we bring on Peter for McCourt. Switch para onto the other side. 
court comes off, he's absolutely dead. Full four. Last ten minutes coming up. We've got got a free kick. Sanchez has scored. Sanchez has scored. Three two Bishop Stortford. Do I go contain? Do I go contain? I'm not sure. Do I go contain? We've got twelve minutes to contain them. Do I do it? Do I just, just shut up shop and just contain them? Right, yes I do. Contain. If they score, it's 5-5 five, five and we go through and away goals. Right, we're just going to waste a bit of time by bringing on... We're going to bring on um, uh, Davidson instead of, instead of the match winner, Sanchez. Can we do it? Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Come on. Come on. It's got to be it. Paris got it. Paris taking it. On to Pete. We've done it. We've done it. Five four on aggregate. We've done it. Through to the next round. We beat PSG. We've beaten PSG. As soon as oh right, we've beaten PSG. I want to say we've just beaten PSG. Wow. The We've got so we got Birmingham in the FA Cup net on Saturday. Then it's semi final draw. And then the Champions League draw for the quarter quarter final is next Friday. So you will be back for that. So I will come back for that. So we'll go all the way down there and then we'll do the draw. We'll see who we're playing, when we're playing, and we're gonna and we'll see when we when when the next video will be done. We're into the next round of the Champions League. Look at that big shiny trophy that we won in our trophy cabinet at the end of the season. We won it. We've just pulled off a very unexpected victory against PSG. We're through to the quarter final of the Champions League. The big question now is who are we gonna get and what can we do in that in that game? So I'll see you back very shortly for the quarter final draw of the Champions League. See you in a bit. So here we are. Champions League quarter final draw. I don't really know which one I want or don't want the most. We've got AC Milan, Atletico Madrid, Bayern Munich, Arsenal, Barcelona, Dortmund, Real Madrid. We've played Dortmund and we can beat them. We've played Arsenal and we know we can beat them. Play by Munich, and we know we can beat them. Right now, worst case scenario would probably be one of the Spanish clubs. So let's just get on with it and see who we're going to be playing in the next round. First out of the hat is Atletico Madrid. They'll play Real Madrid. By Munich versus Arsenal. Barcelona versus Borussia Dortmund. Bishop Stortford will play AC Milan. So we're going to Italy. We're going to go and play AC Milan. It should be an entertaining game. Let's have a little look at their team so far. So if we look at Diego Matti, who is their best player. Determination, positioning. Class of world class centre back, 24 years old, right back, a lot of decent physicals, decent little player, bought for 33 million a few years ago. Wow. Look, let's have a look at the rest of the players. Has anyone we notice? Anyone we anyone we can recognise? Um, Raoul De Wald, Inaki Williams, Lucas Romero, Isco, Florenzi. Lucas Romero been the uh, player that you got with Balanta last on the FM FM sixteen. So not too bad in the league. They are currently third. 
quite a fair way off Roma and Juventus, but you look at us, we're quite a fair way off as well. I'd say we've got a decent chance. I'm quite pleasantly surprised with that one. So in between this game, we're going to be playing Tottenham, and then we're going to be playing AC Milan back-to-back. -back. So we will, like we've done with the PSG one, we'll do back-to-back -back with the quarterfinals. As you can see, we did beat Birmingham in the FA Cup just, so we're through to the semi-finals against Southampton. That'll be a double header with Chelsea at some point. It depends on the circumstances of the AC Milan quarterfinal. So next time you'll be with us is going to be in that AC Milan quarterfinal. So see you then. As always, thanks for watching and thanks for pressing play. See you again soon. Bye for now. <laughs>